where do I begin? I've been trying to make this cake for the longest time, okay? It's a pork and beans cake, okay? I know, I know. Lord, it sounds horrible, but I just thought I would go ahead and try it out and see what it tastes like. It has um, beans in it, meaning that it must be healthy, right? Okay, that's what I'm assuming, right? Um, we just found out that pizza is now a vegetable. Did you all hear that? Okay, pizza, at least here in the United States, is now a vegetable. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that sooner or later they're going to make this pork and beans cake into some type of vegetable. Oh, Lord. Okay, see you in a bit. Okay, first thing you need to do is preheat your oven to 350. And then I'm going to go ahead and dump in two cups of flour into that bowl right there two teaspoons of baking soda two teaspoons of cinnamon oh lord okay i'm tired two teaspoons of baking powder Ooh. okay and because the pork and beans doesn't have enough sodium they want you to add one half teaspoon of salt lord okay so i guess we just combine it now okay and i'm gonna use my big silicone um, poop spoon okay and mix it okay I guess we just go ahead and just mix it I've been dying to show off my silicone spoon okay so we're just gonna mix it and then I'll be adding I guess the wet ingredients Ooh, that sounds kind of sexy Ooh. okay now you're going to go ahead and add four Huevos. Huevos are eggs, okay? For those of you who don't know, huevos are eggs. You're going to add four to that right there. Okay, now you go ahead and you add your two darn cups of sugar. Oh, Lord. Oh, my God, you all. Look at all this sugar I just added. Look at this. Oh, my Lord. Okay, this is all going to go straight to my ass. I'm sorry, but it is. Where else does it go? Oh, Lord. Okay, and of course, we can't forget the vegetable oil, okay? You got to add one cup of this, okay? Because we want to clog up your your arteries, okay, with, with oil, okay? Because then it's not a cake if you don't clog up your arteries, okay? Oh, Lord. Okay, now you're going to beat all of the ingredients together. That's beat together for two minutes, and it's going to look like this. It's kind of pretty, if you ask me. Can you see all the cinnamon? That's pretty. Okay, now for the best part, you're going to add your pork and beans. But, okay, listen carefully, you have to mash them first. So I'm going to go ahead and mash them before I add them. Okay, oh my lord, you all, I've never seen anything more disgusting in all my life. Okay, so I went ahead and I mashed these stupid pork and beans. Okay, and it, it just looks disgusting. Okay, but, but... It's supposed to taste really good. Okay, so we'll see. Um, okay, that was 16 ounces of pork and beans. Now you're going to go ahead and do um, uh, pineapple, crushed pineapple. But, oh, Lord, I forgot um, how much of crushed pineapple. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So you're going to go ahead and add 8 ounces of crushed pineapple to the pork and beans. And then you're going to mash them a little bit more I guess I suppose I don't know oh Lord oh my Lord you all I'm actually gagging over here have you ever seen anything more disgusting um hold on guys okay I'm, I'm baking I'm baking you all a very delicious cake hold on um okay so you're supposed to mash these um really really good I guess okay because I don't even have room here to mash them so I'm just gonna make a huge mess Okay, so I've got the pork and beans in here. I've got my crushed pineapple in here. Remember to drain them, um, beat them until you have um, a smooth texture. Okay, it's not going to be completely smooth, but oh well. Okay, so um, there is my cake mixture. Can you see the little specks of beans? <laughs> Okay, damn it, it doesn't say what kind of cake pans I put them into. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and put them into these. I've got two, I floured them or whatever. Um, oh, Lord. Okay, you're going to go ahead and put them into the oven for about 30 to 35 minutes or until the toothpick test comes out clean. 
Y'all know what I'm talking about, right? Okay, now for the frosting, because yes, it has frosting on it. It doesn't get any better than that. You're going to go ahead and add eight ounces of cream cheese. Okay, Lily, what did you just ask me? Are you making cheesecake? Am I making yummy cheesecake? Yes, yum. Are you going to eat a lot of it? A lot, a lot, like a little piggy? A yes, little. a little. How about a lot? Yeah. Okay, you all, what you're supposed to add now to that cream cheese um, mixture for the frosting is two teaspoons of vanilla. But here's a trick. I just found out that I don't have vanilla. I thought I did, but I don't. Vanilla extract. So what I'm going to use is two teaspoons of maple syrup. And yes, you can substitute. Okay, you're going to go ahead and add one half cup of butter. Okay, good lord, you all. Okay, so now I'm going to add one pound of confectioners. <laughs> I can't even say the word. You're going to go ahead and add one pound. That's one pound of powdered sugar. Lord. This looks like way too much of that powdered sugar, but it called for one pound. Oh my god, okay, this, oh my god, this does not look good. Okay, this looks disastrous. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh lord, oh lord. Okay, y'all, so here's the frosting, and let me tell you something. I went ahead and used the maple syrup, and I think it tastes a lot better than vanilla extract. So, for anybody out there who wants to make a pork and beans cake, <laughs> just kidding, Sarah, it's a cream cheese. Um, Use maple syrup instead of vanilla extract for the frosting. It's delicious. Okay, just took my cake out of the oven. It baked for half an hour. Put the toothpick in, came out clean, and they're perfect so far. And they really do smell good. Really, really good. Okay, I've got my first layer. I went ahead and put the cream cheese frosting on it, and then I topped it with pecans. Okay. Ooh, it came out perfect so far. I went ahead and put on my second layer of cake, and I'm going to go ahead and add the rest of the cream cheese frosting and then top it with pecans. Okay, so my cake is all done, and my kids are going to taste it, right? Yeah. Yes? yes. You love it? Yes. Good? Yes. Sarah, do you like the cake? Yeah. Love it, Anna, my picky eater. Do you like the cake? Yes. Love it? Yes. Love it, love it? Yes. Do you like the cake? Yes. And here's my Ileana having a second helping, right, Lily? You liked it, Lily, right? Mm -hmm. So it is really, really good. Daniel can't stand this ingredient that I'm going to mention. He can't stand it, okay? So, Daniel, if I tell you it has pork and beans in it, will you still love it? <laughs> Nobody yeah, knew you're eating beans, guys, a bean cake, but is it good? It yeah, it is. It's delicious. It is delicious, right? Um, this is actually one of the best cakes I've ever made, if not the, the best. It's moist. The taste of cinnamon, pecans, pineapple, I mean, it's delicious. It really is. So I do recommend you all trying it. Even with the pork and beans, right guys? Okay, so it's um, Saturday morning, and Ileana, what are you having for breakfast? A cake. <laughs> a cake, you liked it, huh? Yes, and here it is. Halfway is gone. It's delicious.